Welcome back to another episode of Sim City Build It and an update with my town, Harbor Hills. Hopefully you guys are having a great day thus far and hopefully you had a great week and weekend. And how about that Super Bowl yesterday? That was insane. Anyway, <laughs> we are back with my town and an extensive update today because I did quite a bit of things last week. Unfortunately, didn't do good with the contest of mayors. Um, this is my second time recording this intro, so I already grabbed like all of my Omega Neo Simoleons, but I wanted to show you guys, I got a new level six Omega building. I'm just going to say six because I've been noticing that they all have different alphabets. This is a six JY, six BX, but six is the highest Omega building you can have. And as you can see, I got some cool new tunnels going on. This building right here, even though you can't see it because it is currently daytime in my town, it has like a weird little circular orb thingy that circulates it. Um, I honestly, I'm going to be honest with you, I have not seen another building like this building in any of my friends' towns, but maybe I haven't paid attention that much. But it is the weirdest thing. It mimics like the rings around that planet, which name I can't, is it Saturn? Is it Neptune? I don't even, that's crazy. And I love galaxy type stuff and planets, and I cannot remember which one has rings around it. But anyway, um, it's one of those cool little buildings. It's funny because it looks so odd with the little skinny little Coke bottle. I don't even know how to explain what it looks like. But anyway, it looks really cool once you see like the little rings and stuff around it. But anyway, got that one. I actually had it over here originally where this little small building is right here, but I couldn't get it to do the tunnels. So I remember before someone had suggested maybe putting it across the street and then as soon as I put it across the street, y'all, it made two tunnels. So there's one, I don't even know how to describe it if it's going to it or from it or what the situation is with it. But either way, so that is the situation with that. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with these Omegas and their tunnels. It's crazy. But I also ended up last week upgrading my um, Omega storage. So now I have 35 things that I can hold. I was tired of capping off. I think I had, I want to say 20, but that doesn't even sound right. Or 25 maybe. I don't know. But I was tired of capping off all the time. Like I was always capping off or topping off rather. And so I ended up paying a hundred SIM cash because I was one item short, but because my storage was full and I didn't have a way to get rid of my storage stuff to at least continue looking for the one item I needed, I just decided to just go on and pay the hundred SIM cash. Oh, it hurt me to the core, but I know it was necessary. I was really hoping this week to do good at Contest of Mayors, but it got to a certain point where I was focusing more on the growth of my town than playing um, SimCity. So, I mean, playing, not SimCity, playing Contest of Mayors. Like, as you can see, I think I said last week, I really wanted to um, kind of like plan out how I wanted my lakes to go. As of right now, this is what it's going to look at. This is my main lake. I finished filling it in. The only thing that bothers me is once I added like this little extra little stream coming from the lake, I started getting holes in my lake. So I don't know if this is something that you guys have been experiencing too. I know some people in my club have been toggling between, it's either the lakes or the ponds in order to make it look more full. But the problem with the lakes are they're $40, 40 SIM cash. And I know I have 642, I'm not hurting for SIM cash, but I just don't want to spend a whole bunch of it when I feel like I could use it for other things. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here yet. I don't like how it looks though. At one point, if you guys will see last week's video, it looked seamless. It just looked like one big body of water. Now I'm not sure what's going on, but you would think that there was like holes, like I needed to place more lakes on top. But as you can see, there is no way. These are all like, they're, they're done. It's That's it. So, but I have noticed when I've been visiting other people's towns that some of them have been having the same little holy look to their lakes. I wish that there was another way that they could fix it. And look, it's right here too. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But like I said, I didn't notice it until I started to make my little streams. So I don't know if the bigger of the body of water gets. Maybe once I'm done and it has like an end point, it'll fill in. I'm not sure. But I felt like when I didn't have like the little stream situation going on, it wasn't an issue. But anyway, so this is currently what I'm hoping to do. I just kind of wanted to have like a little winding, meandering type situation. Kind of circle around over here and then meet up with this... Um, my little Omega zone, little lake. I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny in my mind. I'm just like, what am I doing? Like I wanted to separate the Omega from the downtown. And then of course my little 
suburban area with my Parisian and London zones uh, with a large body of water as well. So of course in my mind, that's what I'm thinking, but you know, I don't know, anything can happen. I do appreciate the fact that I can kind of play around and, and figure out what I want to do while my town is still in its developing stages. Cause even though I'm like at level 41, 811,000 Sims live in my town, I have like a lot of open area and a lot of open space. So I could kind of like plan it and play around with it. And that way I could just put buildings and stuff around it and kind of build around it for people who have already like filled up their towns, like, you know, million plus type people. Um, well, not everybody. Cause I know some of my own teammates and stuff still have quite, quite a bit of space and stuff to expand. But I just feel like when you don't have as many buildings, you can kind of play around with how you want your lakes and stuff to, to look. So if I were you and, and, and you're just starting out and you're kind of like me with a whole bunch of extra empty space, I would kind of get like a visual, especially if you want to incorporate lakes and bridges and things of that nature into your town. I would incorporate like how you would want it to look. All I did was take like some rows and just kind of like draw it out. And all I got to do is just go fill it in as I go. I have, uh, I've been, it's so funny. I'm, I got like a lot of keys last week. It might not look like it. Uh, basically though, this whole little pond got done last week, but it was, I was so excited to see what it looked like just to make sure I was going the right path. Every time I got a key, I like hurry up and place the pond. <laughs> so you guys don't know how many keys I got last week, but cool, got quite a bit. It is expensive. And like I said, it's going to be a project that's going to be ongoing for some time. And I probably will have to forego any other key projects like churches or like mountain or beach stuff until I can get my uh, thing back up. But as you can see so far, it's it's coming along. I, I almost want to widen it up just a smidge, but I don't know yet. I don't know. And then I'm contemplating, do I even keep like the road going around it? Do I add another bridge eventually to kind of like bridge? Because this is like a large area that people will not be able to access without getting to the bridges or going all around the city. Of course, you got this way. You can go like over here, go all the way around. So you go around this way. You know, I just I want to make it convenient for my citizens, of course. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, so right now, this is just like the planning stages. But I wanted to show you guys what was going on with that, because um, I do like how it come, is coming out. And I think once I add buildings and stuff around it, I think it'll look a lot better. But as of right now, in this little raw stages, it just looks a little bit. <laughs> confusing and it's so funny because I've been to other people's towns where I've been shopping in the global trade HQ and I'm like oh I can totally tell what they're doing because everybody is still like in the construction phase of their lakes and stuff you know everybody's still like working on how it's supposed to look and all that good stuff but anyway uh real quick I want to go check out the contest of mayors and I also want to talk about some sim news I forgot to talk about last week so contest of mayors I didn't do good um okay plum ball points collected during the season Oh wow! So they gave us extra platinum keys because of the plum up uh, because of the. Okay, so now I wish I would have done a little bit better. I would have probably got more keys, but I think I was like at. I didn't get demoted, but I didn't get a prize last time I looked. So anyway, but seven platinum keys, I'll take it. I'm still in the Megalopolis League. Uh, like I said, yep, sixty six. I knew I wasn't doing very well. It just got to a point where I was kind of like, eh. Like I hustled. I got all of my. Um, my little amusement park rides. And last week I got like a nice sim cash prize, even though it wasn't like the mega mega one. Um, I guess I just felt like after a certain point, I was just kind of like, eh, <laughs> you know, I just, I don't know. I just kind of like lost it. But as you can see, I was really close to being demoted to 80. But what I'm hoping is that they'll give us a new season. And I was kind of stalking the Facebook page of Sim City Build It all weekend hoping that they'd give us like a little glimpse of something into um, what the new season was going to be. And I see we have a letter. So the season has ended, ended in the contest of mayors. The amazing prizes and music park rides have been rewarded to the top players. Joining the next season will start in a few weeks. Remember to build your reward rides before that. A new season and new exciting rewards await. Okay. So it looks like we have a couple weeks before they do the new season, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's been speculated by some of my teammates that they'll possibly be doing a gambling one next, which will be interesting. I will say, though, I was able to, during this whole entire contest, do three epic buildings, which isn't a lot, but it's a lot for me because I was like deathly afraid of epics for a while. They were um, just very intimidating to me. And I never got like a lot of points and stuff like that. But y'all, since we got this amusement park stuff, doing entertainment epics are like like this. The um the this one right here, the roller coaster, you get four epic points for it. I want to say the pendulum ride. 
one of these you get three two of these you get three four i want to say and then of course with the ones that you already have in your town like the amusement i mean the um the uh, ferris wheel over here and everything like that so because of that i was able to work on another epic last week and y'all it's a gold epic and i wanted to unveil it with you guys right now it's dark i want to show you guys the omega real quick that i was talking about um oh it's not dark well now it looks like the sun is rising darn it i was gonna show you guys the omega with it doing this little rotational orb thingy around it but anyway let's open this omega up i haven't seen it yet of course i wanted to unveil it with you guys i finished it yesterday around it was late last night and i you know i could have unlocked it as soon as i got to the gold but i was like no i'm gonna wait and unveil it with you guys it's like a present it's like christmas to me i don't know it's just like whoa you know so anyway let's open it up and see we're gonna upgrade it and all right i got another gold epic um I'm looking at it and I'm not, I'm not like overly excited about it. It looks just like the other buildings to me. It's nothing special. Man, I was really excited about it being something special. So the last one I got, of course, I can't never, that's the only thing about getting gold. And I think I said this to one, yeah, I did say this to one of my teammates last week. Um, you know, we were talking about epics and, and how many do you have of what? And it got to the point where I was actually okay stopping at silver. So last week when I worked on two buildings, I just stopped at silver because I feel like I could always collect bronze and silvers. I don't ever cap out or top out at bronze and silvers, but because you always get gold as part of your prize, I was always topping out at gold. So I can never collect them. You can only have, I think you can collect five. Of course, if you get contest winnings, they give them to you anyway. But even if you had your own stash, you could only have up to five. I don't know why they have that cap like that. But anyway, so, um, but when I was seeing how easy it was for me to get another gold, I said, you know what? It'll be good for me to have another gold anyway, just in case. So I went on and kept going further with this one. But um, honestly, I don't know if it's 100% necessary right now. Let's see what I got. Um... So I have six uh, cheetah speed ups right now. Like I said, you cap off at five. So, you know, you can't really do anything about it. Um, I got two bronze. And, but honestly, it feels like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not, I'm not impressed by this building. I mean, it's okay. This one right here, though, was my other one I did last week. And I feel like it came out really cute, really pretty. I'm not going to say cute, really nice. Um, this one, on the other hand, is just, it looks like the other buildings. To me, it doesn't stand out like an epic building. So that was a little bit of a uh, whop, 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 but that's okay. Um, the other epic building I got last week was this one, which <laughs> I was saying was kind of ugly, but then it's so funny. I went to someone's town last week and I was shopping and they had like five of these lined up and I was like, okay, okay. It kind of grew on me. It's still kind of ugly, but maybe if I had a bunch of them, it'll be different. So I don't know. But anyway, that is the situation with the epics. And one thing I forgot to talk about last week, and I don't even know if I mentioned it to you guys before, when I was rearranging my town, I had a whole bunch of police and fire stations and health and all that good stuff. I kept them all just in case because I, when you sell them, you don't never get back the entire amount for uh, what you sell them for. And then I forgot to, to mention this last week. They changed the prices and uh, for the fire, the health, and the police station. So hopefully you guys saw that last week. They, they gave us the notification on it. And honestly, I didn't think twice about it because I was like, I have a nice little you know, stash of police and health and stuff on the side of my town right now. So I wasn't 100% worried about it. But then when I went to go look at it again during my stalking the Facebook page situation, I was like, wait a minute. They're now charging almost half price. No, yeah, half price for at least the first of the type of building you get for the small uh, fire station instead of 6100 is 3100 uh, for the medium instead of 11,000 it's 5500 so basically half same thing with the police instead of 10,100 it's 5,000 um, and the same thing for the health but the more you get the more expensive it ends up being so once you get four and beyond for the large fire station instead of it being 42 it'll be 46,000 so I was kind of like huh I wonder how people feel about that so since I didn't talk about it last week I wanted to pose that question to you guys how do you feel about the tiered pricing system now that they're incorporating and the same thing is with the bridges I know I put an Omega bridge last week and I was like I wonder if the price is going to go up as you uh, purchase more and guys I spent 2,000 for this the next one is going to cost 4,000 so 
I wonder if they're rolling that out with all of the specialty buildings and stuff. So if every time you buy another one, same thing with the bridges, same thing with the Omega Bridge, same thing with the um, fire and stuff. I wonder if it's going to be like an issue now. I was kind of reading through some of the comments and some people were kind of like, oh, this is cool because now it's easier to get one because it's cheaper. But then people have been playing for a long time, like majority of you guys probably watching the video. We're a little bit disappointed because we've been doing this for a long time and we paid regular price. I paid the 4200 for a large fire station, the 72, not 4200, 42,000, 72,000 for large police stations. I got like, how many police, like how many large police stations now? I got one over here and then I got one over here. So that's two right there. Then I got a bunch of little ones. So, you know, we've all paid the 72,000. Would have been nice to get the thirty-six thousand. So I think most people that have been complaining have been like, the people who paid regular price, y'all should refund us our money. It's like it's a tricky situation because it's like it's not real money. I don't. Hopefully nobody paid like real SIM cash to convert to cash because you do have an option if you want to take your SIM cash and convert it to cash. You could do that. Hopefully nobody did that to get the buildings because that would kind of suck. Me personally. I'm just like, okay, you know, games change and adapt and based on player feedback and things like that. And I will say the developers are really good about listening to a lot of the feedback and trying to make adjustments and ad adaptations based on suggestions and, and comments and complaints and things of that nature. I, I'll, I'll see that with them. So, you know, they probably thought, okay, people are complaining that it's too expensive, but we want to make it challenging. So let's do the tier thing. And I understand that. And I appreciate that. But some people have been like very disappointed in the Facebook group. And I mean, it's like, <laughs> you know how you could thumbs up or love or, or anger something. It's been like a ton of angry comments, a ton of angry faces. And it's like, I understand, but you know, it's one of those things. It's at risk when you play games like this, that you might put real cash into it and you might not get nothing back from it, but that's part of the price of just playing a game and like trying to have fun and stuff with it. So anyway, that is uh, <laughs> my little take on that, so to speak. Um, so other than that, like I said, I just I focused a lot on just upgrading and building. Of course, I got like this little Tokyo area. One of my, Omar, as a matter of fact, um, one of my teammates of group members, he has a lot of Tokyo buildings next to the water and they look beautiful. So I was inspired by his town. Definitely was like, okay, my last little line of, of uh, houses back here are probably going to be Tokyo. So I need to work on that little area. Of course, uh, like I said, I filled in the rest of my lakes. I upgraded a couple little of my residences here and there did that and um yeah so i mean you know just kind of focusing on my town i uh, got another omega uh resource i think it was this power plant uh i do want to get which i think will be the next one i get i needed to get another sewage treatment plant the other day and i kind of don't like these anymore so i'm kind of contemplating getting um an omega one and there are ten thousand i mean lately i've been getting ten thousand neo simoleons so quickly and unfortunately because i cannot upgrade my bank yet look at all the stuff i need to upgrade my bank i can't get um i can't get any more than ten thousand once you get to ten thousand you're done so it's like i might as well just spend it on something if i can't find anything in the neo bank I mean, in the Neo Mall, I might as well spend it on something. And unfortunately, I would love to start expanding right now with my drones and my control net. I'm not at max for my drones. I got like, what, two more? But for my control net, I'm at max. I can't, there's no other way I can put any more Omega residences, which is a little bit disappointing. And then when I start looking at the prices to get like another one, it's 15,000 Neo Simoleons. The only way I can get it is if, I upgrade my bank and the only way I, and the, unfortunately when I upgrade my bank, I'm only going to upgrade it to 13,000, which means I'll have to upgrade it twice in order to even be able to bank enough money to get another control net. So huh, it's, 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 it's as disappointing as it is, I'm not sure what's going to happen with my Omega area. I'm not going to say that I'm done with it because I love the buildings. I really want one with the little rotating globe on top like Daniel has in his city. But um, until I, unless I tear down buildings or finish upgrading these and, and hope that one of these is going to be, <laughs> you know, you can never know what they're going to look like until you upgrade them. So, um, you know, you just got all these, uh, these buildings that have like, why do I keep clicking that? I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. That is like so loud. That is so loud all of a sudden. Anyway, uh, but this one's at, a, at, at uh, four right now. These are at two, you know, I got quite a bit. I think this one right here. That's at five, and this one's at five, I think. 
So these should be upgraded. I'm, I swear I'm not clicking it. Yeah, these two, I think both of these are at five. So these should be uh, upgraded next to be like one of these tall ones. And then I'll probably move them closer over there. But um, just crossing my fingers. Like I said, I don't want to say I'm done with it, but it'll be something that I'll probably do in the future. For right now, I'm just going to hold off and just try to start looking for um, things to increase my Neo Bank. which is funny. I always have those things, but I never felt like they were important to do the Neo Bank. Not until I realized that in order for me to get into the control net, I needed to be able to have more money. And I don't, I don't have ways to hold that much money, basically, long story short. So that is basically, I keep saying basically, but that is what's going on with that. Um, and then with my town in general. So I'm, I'm very happy with my town right now. I know for the longest, I was kind of like, I feel like I need something. I feel like I need something. I feel like it's finally coming along and I'm loving like the progress and stuff. Um, I don't know why I have an extra road right here. I think, I think my plan was to get rid of this road and put like a little small lake around there. So I think I am still going to do that, um, which is something I'm going to do. In the future, of course, once I get more keys, it's all about the keys. It's all about the keys. Speaking of which, I need to work on that so I can get my keys. But it's funny. That's all I've been working on. I've just been trying to get every single shipment just so I can have my key situation situated. Okay. Does that make any sense? Um, what else do I want to tell you guys about Sim News? We talked about the, um, the tiered prices. Um, it's so funny. I was reading some of the comments about the club. Uh, oh, okay. That's what I want to talk about. So I do have a couple spots left in my club. Um, right now we are at 18, I think 18 out of 25. So I will be passing out some, um, some invitations in order for you to be part of my club. And I've said this, uh, before I think, you need to be my neighbor. And um, the only way right now I can invite anybody is if I physically go to your town and invite you. I, I'm not going to open the club back up to just the public because we were getting so many requests. I mean, it was like, I'm not trying to brag, but <laughs> it got to the point where it was like every minute we were getting like five, six, seven, eight requests. It was just the chat. And unfortunately it puts it on the chat page. So as we're trying to chat and make trades and, and discuss things, you know, all these things are coming up, to talk about someone sent a request to join the club and it started getting a little overwhelming. So we, I, I closed it and I'd rather just have you as my neighbor which I want you guys to have some my neighbors anyway, so don't get me wrong, but I'd rather have you as my neighbor than I could just physically go to your town and invite you. So I will be doing that. I would like to be at max. Me and my club members were, were thinking that, that they're going to do something related to groups or clubs. So, you know, it'd be fun to have more members into it. We would like active members, of course, people that actively want to contribute as well as actively chat, actively receive things. You know, we don't want people coming in to just be give me, give me, give me, give me, and not want to offer things uh, as well, because we've had a handful of situations where people have been like, give me, then they disappear for like days and we're like, where do they go? Then they come back and be like, give me. Um, so, you know, we've been given and getting and given and getting, you know, like it's a two way type situation and we'd like club members to do that as well. If you want to become my neighbor, you have to go to the Facebook page and post on the, the pin thread on my Facebook page. Do you want, are you looking for neighbors? That is the only way I can add you as my neighbor. Um, is if I have access to your Facebook, I know some people have suggested, Hey, can you search for me? You can't really search for people's towns on the game. And I know somebody one time suggested if I put something up in the global trade HQ, can you you know, try to come buy it and then maybe add me. I'm like, no, there's, there's no, it's too many people that play this game for me to go, you know, hunting for people, the easiest way to do it. And then of course you will not only get me as a neighbor, which is awesome, right? <laughs> you have the potential to make other people as neighbors. And I think the only way you can really thrive in this game is if you have like neighbors and have a support system, it's really hard to do a lot of this stuff by yourself. And then you get fringe benefits from having neighbors. I think I've showed you guys before the amount of neighbors you get, you get free SIM cash, you get like access to their global trade HQ, which might have uh, rare items and things of that nature. And then you could also be a part of the club, which is easier to manage if you're, if you're part, if you're, if you're, if you're our neighbors, basically long story short. So just want to get that out the way. If you want to do that, please, please, please go that route. Um, I'm, I'm trying to address all of the, um, 
the request as I get them, but some of them have just been so difficult. Also, if you are on Facebook and you want to become neighbors, you have to have the add friend button enabled. I know that there is a way to have it disabled on your page. So then no one can add you. So if you want to be friends, we have to actually become friends. <laughs> if you want to become neighbors, we have to actually become friends, which means your button needs to be enabled. Okay. Got that all out the way. I'm trying to think of what else I needed to say today. Um, I guess that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys are, um, are, are, if you're not in a club and you want to become in a club, like hopefully you guys will reach me soon. Cause like I said, I have a couple of people that I need to invite today and need to check some invites because I sent some out, but people said they weren't, they weren't getting them. So I need to check that today. And of course, that'll be a situation that will probably be closer to 25 by the end of the day. I'm not 100% sure, but that is basically the situation. All right, cool. Um, so I wanted to go visit um, some towns today and I'm looking at my clock. I'm running out of time. Uh, it's funny. The two people that I had on my list to check today are... Are, are, they have funny town names. Let's put it that way. The first person I want to go check on is Lucas, and his town is called City Under Maintenance. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why this is funny in a minute when we get to the next. Town. <laughs> but anyway, City Under Maintenance has over a million Sims living in his town. I don't know why he's saying it's under maintenance. He's at a level 49, um, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, he, let me see. Does he have anything in the trade depot? Nothing. Uh, you don't have a club right now, Lucas. So if you're interested, let me know. Totally can add you. Thank you for that crystal mineral thingy majiga, whatever you call it. But anyway, so right now it looks like he has, wow. It's like a lot of little Omega stuff back here. He was able to get uh, the, what is the name of this amusement park ride? I forget. The one that goes side, the swivel. Oh, this isn't like my, wait, don't you have one of these buildings like this? This weird tube building. I don't have that going across the top. I don't think, I don't think I do. But anyway, so his little Omega zone right here, which is really cool. Um, he has, oh, he has the bumper car thing back here. Awesome. Awesome. He has a lot of his resources and stuff back here, um, which is cool. I think everybody that's been like pretty much either people put them like smack in the center or they'll put them like off to the side somewhere like offset it. So it's funny because I'll look and I'm like, how are everybody doing their uh, their electricity and all that good stuff? So his little uh, area over here to go buy stuff. What am I trying to say? I'm about to say mall, but it's not a mall. I got shopping on the brain apparently today because I did want to get to the mall today at some point. <laughs> But anyway, uh, it's little stores and stuff right over here. All right, cool. Got this cool little park. I think I have that park over here. Oh, look at this building. Now see, this one is really cool with the little stairs and the little pools on each floor. Isn't that kind of cool? That's a cool building. Um, all right, I'm just trying to check out. Everything is kind of compact, but it's very hustle bustle busy which is really nice. I like hustle bustle busy. Why? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a city girl. I'm not a city girl, but I'm a city girl. If that makes sense. <laughs> I love like hustle and bustle and like a lot of get up and goes and oh, the little pins and the little drop is over here. Very cool. Actually, I like, you know what? I saw somebody else's town that had everything all scattered and uh, that sounds bad when I say it like that, but I, I actually liked it like that because I was like, you know, that makes sense because people could just kind of go and just enjoy this little area right here. They can come over here and enjoy this little area. Um, I think my little downtown area was just too compact for me to be trying to scooch stuff around to add. Oh, he has a, a epic like me. This looks just like mine. Look at this little. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This 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 whole little area right here with the Tokyo buildings and then the Ferris wheel right there, that is awesome looking. I don't know why it looks so awesome with all the colors and stuff. Wow, it's mesmerizing actually. <laughs> actually, it's mesmerizing. Oh, got castle over here. Awesome. I was trying to see what other amusement park thingies he got. Um, I don't see any more. My son is playing with all of my measuring cups, my plastic ones, and he is about to be, he's so loud right now. Anyway, so, um, okay, cool. I'm just checking you, I'm checking you out, Lucas. I'm checking you out. Very, very nice. I don't see you as under maintenance anymore, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and move over. And I was saying it was funny that the two towns I had on my list today, um, names were, their, their town names were kind of funny because we just had city under maintenance, right? And then the next city I have is by Mr. Joe, and the name of his town is, uh-oh, where is it? Did I pass? Under construction. <laughs> I thought 
thought that was so funny because I was like, okay, city under maintenance and under construction. Okay. And so Joe is at level 40. He has uh, 300,000 Simpsons, which is really nice. And when you first come in, he has all his little, I like putting my stores next to each other. I did see someone's town. Their stores were all scattered. And I was like, how insane is that? You have to bounce because I like to hit all mine up at the same time. <laughs> and then I'm known for back when I had storage issues, which unfortunately I still do. I'm known to like go see what I have, like the raw stuff that I have to see what I can make with it just so I can make stores. Because I much rather make stuff with the stuff than just sell it. You know what I'm saying? Because like I could sell you iron or I could sell you nails. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, it's like if I got a whole bunch of iron, I'd rather make nails and just sell nails. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That has nothing to do with jo Joe's town. But um, so I was just checking it out. What is this down here? What? Oh, he got the little water park thing. I wish I could zoom in on it. The little water park thing. I saw that the other day and I was just like, I want, I want, I want. Um, I think I was just trying to look for different parks. So I was tired of doing the same parks over and over again. And I remember seeing it and thinking that I wanted it. Oh, that's so cute. And he has a basketball court right here. A basketball one would be really good, too. That would be a really good one to get. Anyway, okay, let's continue. Which one is this one? Is this a gambling? It must be gambling because it sounds like somebody rolling dice. Yeah, I've never seen that one before with the stars on top. That one's actually kind of cool. That's one thing I never got into. I'm so scared to do a gambling epic because I don't have a lot of gambling buildings. Like, I feel like I need to add some more gambling buildings before I do a, a gambling epic. I heard gambling epics are very, very hard. Oh, now this is cool. You got the Plum Bob Bridge, and it's on the backdrop of it. He has this sign. What's the sign? Is that sign? Does that sign go with the water slide? Wow, I guess I never looked at that angle before to see my slide. Does my slide have that sign? Someone let me know. I'm curious now. But I love the fact that it has the water stuff in front of this little bridge. That is awesome. It's so funny when you get into other people's towns and you start noticing stuff that <laughs> you may or may not have. I want to know now because I like that. I like how he put it like right there. Like when people come enter it, it's like, here's the little amusement park area. I did notice too that, I don't know if you guys noticed this too. Some of these things had like walkways and stuff. I was trying to connect them where it looked like they was all together. Um, like these little paths and stuff that come from the rides, but some of them just don't fit right. So, uh, so he has the new plump bob bridge and then he also has the stone bridge, which is interesting because I thought it had to be put over water. I really don't see it being put. Wait, I don't really see it being put under water here. I mean, over water. Um, I really want a helipad too, y'all. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm following him. I'm in your business. I'm all in the know. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm sorry, y'all. This has nothing to do with anything. Then, in the meanwhile, we can check out an aerial view of his town. <laughs> he has his um, Super Bowl stadium over here. <laughs> I used to live in Houston. That stadium is awesome, by the way. I we went to a game. We went to a Texans game. When this, because that's the, the I said studio or stadium. I meant to say stadium. I think I said studio, but anyway, and that that stadium is awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. Also went to um, uh, well, I've been to a handful of things in that stadium. But it's so funny when I was watching the Super Bowl and you know Lady Gaga and all that good stuff. I was like, oh, I miss Houston. I really do. We used to live in Houston a long time ago, super long time ago. So I lost my helicopter. But anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny you guys both of you and joe and lucas y'all talk about your cities are under construction but they look really good so far so here we go another bridge with a body of water this one is really nice you know i was contemplating doing this bridge as opposed to the suspension bridge but this one is really nice like we guys we got some good bridge options it's really hard to try to make a decision and it's almost like you got to make a decision and kind of stick with it because then it'll look odd if you have like too many different bridges going on like you don't want to put them right next to each other of course if they're on separate sides of the of the uh of your town then it's fine but you know i don't know that's just me i like things to be like matchy and kind of coordinated and you know make sense oh look at this one i like this too this park with the ball the big ball of uh rubber bands or whatever oh there's that helicopter are you the one that i was following earlier Okay, y'all, that is my next goal to get a helicopter um, thing. I have to. Man, which means I need to save up my keys like crazy. Anyway, he has an Omega Bridge as well right here, which looks really good in the center. And he has a Maxis Manor. Oh, you are so, you're like doing way better than me. <laughs> 
I'm going to say most people I know, but just no, just me. Just me. You're doing way better than me. But anyway, okay, let me go ahead and get back home because I'm about to make this video super long. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, if you want to become my neighbor, please visit the Facebook page and post it there. Um, I, I haven't had a chance. The last couple of weeks have been insane. Actually, just a week and a half has been insane. So normally I'll stay on top of it and I'll get requests and I'll, I'll, I'll respond to them immediately. But I've been a little bit behind. So if you don't hear from me like in the first day, don't fret. Normally by day two, I've, I've gone to the page and I've checked it out and um, you know I'll, I'll add you. And then also a lot of people that have added people, a lot of people that have asked for ads, have added you guys as well. So, you know, it's a good idea to go do it. So that way you're just not getting me as a neighbor. You could get other people that I'm neighbors with and that have been looking for neighbors. And you can have like a good little amount of people. Right now, I don't know how many neighbors I got, to be honest with you guys. Um, if I even knew where my, um, look, I'm like, if I even knew where my, uh, where's my, um, <laughs> Where is my governor's mansion? I could probably kind of estimate about how many neighbors I have at this point. I don't want to even scroll through and try to and try to search because it's gonna take me forever. I don't even know where my um where is my uh that's crazy. <laughs> no, seriously. What did I do? Oh, here we go. All right. So right now I am at about let's see. I, well, I have over 15 friends. We know that for a fact. Um Let's see. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. Oh, I'm at 71 of 75 friends. So as you guys can see, I have 71 friends. And this is what I was talking about, the SIM cash. Once I make 75 friends, they're going to hand me 30 SIM cash, which isn't bad. You know, 30 SIM cash? Like, hello. And I think after that, hopefully they'll do like 100. If they do like 100, oh, I don't see it. Darn it. Well, maybe this one will change to 100 have a hundred friends. So I'm four friends away. So guys help me with my goal. Get me to 75 friends. So that way I can get my 30, my 30 some cash. But anyway, Oh, another thing I wanted to say too, um, darn it. I forgot just that quick. I'm like all over the place today It was something that I saw on here. And I was like, Oh, that's right. Oh, that, Oh, that's right. March 7th was actually my, um, first Sim city video. So I, I don't know why I was thinking March 20th. I think last time I said March 22nd, don't ask me why March 6th, 22nd, I'm going to say it out of my head. But anyway, so March 7th was the first day that I played SimCity with you guys. I opened it up for the first time on YouTube. And um, I am really hoping. <sighs> okay, so today is February 6th. So that is literally a month from now. I would be so thrilled if I can make a million Sims by March 7th. If I could say it took me a year and I got a million Sims in my town. So cross fingers, that is my goal to get to a million before March 7th. I have quite a way to go, but I think I can do it. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys that heads up that that is my goal. I'm working towards for a month to get 200,000 more Sims living in my town so that I can make a million by March 7th. That is what my goal is. A million by March 7th. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And don't forget again, go to the Facebook page if you're looking for neighbors and I need four more. Add me, add me, add me. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video because I really like thumbs up and I really like all you guys' comments. And I'll see you next Monday. Bye. bye. You say bye? Come say bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.